Lunsa here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make an intro that looks something like this. Yeah, so basically I'm going to teach you guys how to make that intro step by step. So the first thing you want to do is go into Final Cut Pro, obviously, and load up a new project. I have one here. And we're going to go to our Generators tab and find this custom preset and we're just going to drag it here. What I like about this preset is uh, I'm just going to select 720p. 23 is fine with me just for this tutorial sake. You can make it how much ever you want. 25 is good enough really. You don't really have to go any further than that. So I'm just going to stick with 23 just so that my computer renders fast. Okay, so we're going to go down and we're going to make this five seconds long. All right, because an intro longer than that is going to get boring. First time someone comes to your channel, they're going to love your intro if it's good. But when they subscribe to you and keep watching your videos, if you do put your intro on every single video of yours, they are going to start getting bored of your intro. And that is not good because then they start losing interest in the first few seconds of your video and what you want in the beginning of your video is a strong start and if your intro is really boring it's not a strong start so you want something short but catchy and that's what I'm here to teach you to do so the first thing you want to do is load up your custom preset and we're gonna make it five seconds long just so that it's nice and short not boring so the next thing you want to do is date the generator tab and search for stars okay we want stars because Otherwise, your your intro is going to look uh, really plain and it's not going to look good. The background is not going to look uh, sophisticated enough. And we're going to fix that by putting a bit of white dots. Now, that's way too much because they're just going to be looking at those white dots and nothing else. So we're going to put this opacity level down to 10%. 10% that is. And you have really small little dots there. I don't know if you can see it properly, but um, if you do it, you can see it. So the next thing you want to do is go to your titles tab and you're going to search for pixie dust. Now, this is where things get interesting. This basically, this effect is what we're going to be using. So what you want to do is go to your text section, I mean your text tab, and remove everything so it's blank. You don't have to put your name in there, just leave it so that we have only the pixie dust going through. The next thing you want to do is go to your effects tab on our effects tab and we're gonna drag color correction all the way to our pixie dust. Now we're gonna uh, go to our video tab on our pixie dust and we're gonna click on this little arrow and we have our color board open. So go to your color tab and we're gonna take the master, the global, uh, the global button, whatever you like calling it, and we're gonna push it to the blue the blue side basically making it look I like blue you can actually make it red you can make it green I don't know but I'm gonna stick with blue because that's what you saw in the beginning of this video and just to stick with the tutorials and then everything else is gonna be the opposite side it's gonna be purple or uh, I'm not gonna make it green I'm just gonna make it a sort of dull color because what we want is a really bright uh, standing out color and then we want the other colors the other particles have to be slightly more dull color because then the blue the bright blue stands out and everything else is a little dull so we want the bright blue to stand out and we want this to be dull so that your name when your name comes in a little later your name will stand out. otherwise if everything's bright Everyone's going to be looking at this. Everyone's going to be looking at your dust and no one's going to look at your name. And that's what we don't want. We don't want people looking at the dust and not your name. That defies the entire purpose of an intro. The intro is supposed to put your name up there so that that's basically your trademark. It tells people that that's your video. And if your name's on and not on it, there's no point. So make sure your name stands out. And that's why you want to make sure that there's some attractive color, but not too much. Then you want to go into your blur and you want to, uh, you want to select focus and just drag it on to your pixie dust, all right? And it gives that, uh, that did not work. So we're gonna drag it on again. Yeah, there we go, that worked this time. Okay, so now if we give it a play, obviously it hasn't rendered. It gives it that blur and, and that really looks good. Okay, uh, that's what that's required. If you don't put that in there, it's not gonna look good because then we're not focusing on the outsides. We're focusing where your name is gonna be. This box over here, that's where your name is gonna be. It basically attracts more attention to your name and that's, point of an intro. Now we're gonna go back to our text uh, and before we do that actually we're gonna go here and just gonna finish this one off. We're gonna search for glow, a glow effect and we're gonna drag that onto your pixie dust. Okay uh, that that gives it that nice little glow and that looks good. Now we're gonna exit our color board and go to the compositing little window here uh, and we're gonna put down this Capacity to around 50, 50 percent. That would be a that would be a good number. Uh, actually, let's, let's try 40. Let's try 40. Yeah. So 40 percent is what you want. Otherwise, that's all you're going to be looking at. Again, you don't want them to only look at the pixie dust. You want them to look at your name too. 
Now we're going to put this basic title up here. Not basic, sorry. We don't want the basic title. You want to look for continuous. Continuous is what you want. Continuous. And we're just going to put this roughly a quarter uh, of a second after your, uh, your intro starts. So put it around this mark and uh, that's your continuous title. Now what you want to do is go to your uh, transitions tab and we're going to look for, yeah, cross dissolve right here. Just drag it on. That's the wrong one. You don't want it on your custom. You want it on your continuous. All right, and that's just gonna give that little fade in effect, and that's required. Otherwise, oh, this is this is too long. We're just gonna take that off for a second, and we're gonna drag this to the five second mark, just around there, and just gonna we're gonna put this back. All right. So now that we've got that, so it comes in nice and easy. It isn't too. It doesn't come in too sudden. And now because this is not, it's kind of, if you if you observe it, it isn't really in the middle. So um, what you want to do is go to your Y coordinates and make this negative 60, negative 60. And that looks much better. Uh, now you want to go to your compositing tab again, and you want to make this around 60%, just so that it isn't too bright. And then go to your text and write your name, obviously. You don't have to write your name, right? Whatever you want there. And now what looks good with this, with this, Intro is condensed. Condensed is what you want because it really suits in. So we're gonna go back to our compositing tab and make this, let's say 40%, it's too bright. Yeah, so it's sort of transparent now. Uh, if you play it through it, it looks pretty good. And it, we're almost done here, all right? It's, it's that easy. Now you wanna take this flare. I found this flare, this is not a, a compulsory step. You can just take it if you want. It's just a small thing just to add to your uh, video Basically just put it just put it here. You can search for flares on the internet. You'll get plenty of them Just put it somewhere just like after your name shows up. That's a little too late That's when it's going back. So when your name shows up and it's complete You want that flare to come in and then it should go back down. So that's basically How it should work and you can put a little glow on your flare if you if you're fine with it uh, a little glow, a little glow is always appreciated. Uh, you're gonna put a little glow, and if you put a little glow, it's gonna be it's gonna be really, really bright. So you want to put down your opacity to around 50% just to uh, sort things out. Okay, you don't want it too bright, but you want that whiteness. So you could put a color correction, but it won't give you that whiteness and whiteness at the same time. Uh, so a glow would do good. Now what you want is another color correction, or you don't have to actually do a color correction, you have an option here on your title. So you want to go to your face color and make this a sort of bluish, greenish color, something that fits in. So if you have red dust, go for a reddish color. If you have blue dust, stick with blue. So I'm going to go for this, around this, this type of color. We're going to select that. And that really, it, it kind of blends in with your, that, that's way too blue, we're going to make it a little more white-ish, uh, just, just at the tip of both colors, so yeah, that's good. You don't want too much blue, you don't want too much white, uh, just just a bit of both, so that it's it kind of stands out and gives a little more color. And that's basically all, so if you put it on a full screen here, it's, it isn't rendered, but uh, you don't want to wait for that. And that's basically your intro, that's all you have to do to make such a nice looking intro. So I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned a few tips and tricks on finally calling it. And if you do want more of this of these videos, subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.